Hello, and welcome to The Big Picture Show. I'm Sophie. And I'm Natalia. We have two new countries joining the foundation, Japan and South Korea. South Korea is also participating in the BPF's music initiative. Greece is probably also joining. An update on the project-based initiative at Osborne. The group has decided uh, to do a friendship bracelet exchange between the group at Osborne and a group of children in the Dominican Republic. The BPF is also planning a global group chat on Zoom. It would give children all over the world the opportunity to make new friends and to talk to each other. After meeting with the benefit community, the Big Picture Foundation decided to plan a concert benefit on Sunday, April the 7th. Kids are needed to help work and get people involved, so spread the word and sign up on the Big Picture Foundation website. Also, a reminder to all the BPF kids in the leadership group to fill out the questionnaire on the BPF website. Today, I'm joined with a really special guest. Um, it's the first of an interview series that we're starting for the Big Picture Foundation. He is a world-class cellist and the regional director of Westchester County for the Back to Bach project. This is Sean Yu. Hello, thank you so much for having me. How long have you been a part of the Big Picture Foundation? I have been part of the Big Picture Foundation for around a year now. What interested you about the Big Picture Foundation when you first joined? The Big Picture Foundation was really interesting because um, it's a way for younger kids to communicate through art, and I think that's a very important thing to achieve. Why do you think it's important for people to be involved in the Big Picture Foundation? It's really important for people to be involved in the Big Picture Foundation because it's a way for kids to connect through art and to be introduced to art, um, especially in foreign countries, which I think is really important. Why, in your opinion, is it important for people to be involved in music and the arts? The music and the arts, um, you know, it's, it's like a universal language. It's something that everyone can understand and, you know, art is something you can see and music is something you can hear. How long have you been playing the cello? I've been playing the cello for eight years since I was six years old. Do you see music in your future? I definitely do see being a cellist in my future. I'll definitely continue it throughout high school and college and potentially a career. What is Back to Bach and what is its goal? Back to Bach is a global initiative for um, foreign countries, just like back, uh, the, the Big Picture Foundation. Um, it's a way to kids to connect and inspire them to start classical music as well. How long have you been a regional director of Back to Bach and how has having the position impacted you? So this is my first year being a regional director. However, um, I've been a member at the Northern New Jersey region for I think two years now. So the Westchester region is a new region and we hope to expand it and find new opportunities to inspire kids in the Westchester region. Is Back to Bach having any events for the future? Um, the following events might be um, February 10th, and following that, we plan to play at libraries and high schools all throughout the Western region, you know, really inspire different children to start classical music. What is your earliest memory of feeling impacted by music? I think my earliest memory of being impacted by music was when I got accepted to the Juilliard Free College program. That was when I was nine years old, so that was kind of a turning point in my life. Did you ever consider playing a different musical instrument? I actually started off on the piano. I was terrible at the piano, however, so I switched to the cello, and I don't think I've had a change in mind since then. How has the way you played the cello changed over time? At first, cello to me seemed just like a very technical experience. However, as you grow up, you have to incorporate music and how, like, how well the music will sound to other people. And it definitely gets harder as you continue. Do you ever have stage fright? I definitely do experience stage fright. Um, I think, however, when I was young, I didn't really experience it because I never really knew what was going on. And I kind of envy that. However, I think stage fright is a good thing to have. Why? Stage fright gives you like this adrenaline that, for me, helps me play better. However, I know some people that you know do not play well under pressure. Where in the world have you played, and how did the opportunities arise? I think when it comes to traveling abroad, 
Um, opportunities are very good to take. I love traveling and I love seeing new cultures. I've played in um, many foreign places, including Russia and Kazakhstan. In addition to the Back to Bach project, you're also part of a cello quartet with another nonprofit called the Ponticelli. You have arranged for both organizations to partner with the Big Picture Foundation. Ponticelli is also a nonprofit organization, and for the event on February 10th, we'll be incorporating both those events. Um, so you'll definitely see a wide variety of music being played. Thank you so much for being on the BPF show, and I hope that your events go well. Thank you for having me. So thank you so much for watching the Big Picture Show, and tune in next time for more updates. Bye! Bye.